in the not too distant future, even your dishwasher could be spying on you. Because while technology aims to make life easier, it could also give Big Brother a peephole into the lives of almost anyone. RT's Marina Portnaya tracks the trend from New York. All right, Howard Marks, where are you? Ten years ago, biometrics, robotic spies, and state okay. surveillance were the makings of a sci-fi flick four, two, starring one, Tom Cruise. Set up a perimeter and tell them we're en route. Today, many scenes from the Hollywood blockbuster Minority Report have arguably become an American reality, with life ominously imitating art. You're walking down the street, and the camera that takes a picture of you is able to compare it through facial mapping, is able to compare it to your driver's license photo or some other photo, maybe a mugshot, maybe a surveillance photo, and say, all right, Marina was on the corner of 42nd and 8th at 3 o'clock last Saturday. In addition to facial recognition, New York City's police department is just one of many law enforcement agencies that also requires citizens to undergo an iris scan before being released from police custody. In the past six months, iris scans have been taken from hundreds of Occupy Wall Street activists placed under arrest, like Christina Gonzalez. Yeah, they really don't tell you why. Um, they just say it's another form of identification, and it's really creepy to have someone holding up some machine to your face, and you have no idea not only the, the health effects of it, but what they're actually using, what their larger purpose uh, of using it is for. Iris scans are like a high-tech fingerprint, but much faster. Officials can quickly identify anyone whose unique scan is on the database. The technology is becoming increasingly useful as a tracking tool in the U.S. In the virtual world of tweets, Facebook posts, and search engines, every internet user is defined by a data footprint. If you think anonymous comments and blogs are protected, think again. Through the use of what's called forensic linguistics, U.S. investigators can now uncover whose fingers are behind every single keystroke. If I have a good and a large enough sample of your writing and your posting, I can take it and compare it. I can input it into a database and send that database a, a bot out using that information finding every other post you ever did. The digital data trail of every American will soon be connected to a massive building in Utah. A $2 billion data center is reportedly being constructed for the U.S. National Security Agency. The complex will allegedly be able to collect, analyze, and store all forms of personal communication, including online purchases, cell calls, Google searches, and yes, private messages. So they're actually looking at de-encrypting all of the data that comes out. So for example, when you use Gmail, your, all your emails are encrypted by default. Google has given you this service and has allowed you to say, my communications are protected. Now the NSA center is designed around building systems that will de-encrypt that data and remove any protection that you can put onto it. Earlier this month, CIA Director David Petraeus painted a picture of America's dystopian freefall when describing the emergence of the Internet of Things. The phrase refers to an increasing amount of personal information Washington will eventually be able to obtain once all home electronics are wired to a network. U.S. intelligence officials estimate that by 2020, up to 100 billion ordinary devices, such as refrigerators and dishwashers, could be wired up to the Internet, just the way PCs and cell phones are now. That bottomless pit of data could allow Big Brother to monitor virtually anything it wants. Even the CIA director says the very idea of secrecy will change forever. Marina Portnaya, RT. New York.